Let me catch you up on what's happening. Queen Jenna can't attend the summit because someone has accused her of conspiring with Scarlet. The hearing is the same day. Someone's lying, and we have to figure out who. Soon as we know, we can confront that person and get them to recant their statement. We need to talk to everyone, find clues to the truth, and build evidence to defend the Queen. Once we discover who among them is the mastermind, we'll take action. But be careful. These people are suspicious and sensitive. Say something too blunt or off-putting, and they'll clam up. If we're obviously undermining their plans, they'll have us escorted out of the party, and it will all have been for nothing. a hero who needs no introduction, the commander of the pact, and accompanying the le- uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, Kazmir Mead. <sighs> Keep it together, Kaz. You can get through this. Be confident, like Jory. Kazmir, come over here. Don't look so glum. Care for an order? Hello, dear Kazmir. Don't worry your little face over what the Herald's papers say. You'll always be noble in my eyes. Countess Anise. That's direct, and kind of you to say. I'm afraid I don't feel particularly noble. Then we must do something about that. Nobility isn't in the blood, as so many believe. It's in your choices. Your return to grace is only a pardon away. If your talent for detecting lies is all you say it is, well, let's just say I'm confident we can convince the Queen your value overrides your father's misfortune. I only hope to be of some small service, Countess. Oh dear. Okay. Let's start picking apart everything they say. One of these ministers is spreading lies about the Queen. Oh no. Over <laughs> anything remotely. Stop right there. This shrimp bisque is a dog I can take that. Thank you. What? <laughs> Good to see you, Minister. You've convinced me. It looks like Minister Estelle is the one spreading this horrible rumor. Let's keep at it. If we're going to confront her, we'll need serious evidence to back us up. I know for a fact the Queen had a private talk with Scarlet. How? Everyone is saying it, so it must be true. Oh my. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Good observation. I had a feeling she was lying. The Queen wouldn't hold a private meeting with just anyone, much less a Silvari with no political connections. This woman will testify. I can take that. You must be mistaken. My niece knows a guard who heard from a doorman that the Queen... Oh, I've said too much. Is lying a prerequisite for being in the ministry? Minister Estelle. Gentlemen, please leave. I see you've been busy socializing with the guests. Is this a party or a circus? <laughs> Care for an hors d'oeuvre? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I can take that. Thank you. Perhaps I misspoke. <laughs> Apologies. I shall revise my. <laughs> what?
Thank you, the nasty one. If you must know, I'll tell you what really happened. Is this a party or a circus? Care for an hors d'oeuvre? I can take that. Thank you. In absence of your orders, I've been occupying myself by planning the extermination of this entire gaggle of premium fools. I thought maybe some well-placed bombs here and there among the topiary, hmm? Or perhaps I'll pick them off I'm one by one of with my clans were up to your and hide the bodies in the pantry. Them I wonder, would that reflect poorly on your office? I imagine I'd become a hero to the Crichton people, and still no reaction. I wonder, Countess, are you even here at all with me? I assure you that the ship responsible for this will be dealt with at once. Take your glass, if you're finished. My apologies for the deception, but I must go to unconventional lengths to protect Krita. Countess, Minister Estelle is claiming that you were there, at this secret meeting. She's implicating you. Nonsense. I was at no such meeting. I did, however, receive a mysterious message signed only with the initial E. The note said that Estelle was in a bandit gambling parlor, when she was supposedly spying on our queen. Reminding her of this will be enough to make her drop her lie. Faster than Farron's dignity. Retreat! It may have taken me a while, Countess, but I finally realized my mark was direction. If you can hear me through You again? I hope you're not planning another interrogation. This is a party, if you haven't noticed. 
skip the small talk. I'll have you know I'm very well connected, and I... Your connections can't help with this. We know what you've been up to. What What do you mean? We know you couldn't have witnessed this supposed meeting with Scarlet. We hear you were busy meeting with some lobbyist that day. Lobbyist? What are you talking about? So much for subtlety. You were busy gambling with some ruffians. Keep your verse down. That's a faceless accusation. Is that so, Minister Estelle? Perhaps you and I should speak privately and sort this little mess out. Please, follow my guards. I'll be with you shortly. Countess Anise, thank you for inviting us to your party. It's been an entertaining and productive evening. No one is more delighted by your presence than I. With all that socializing and skullduggery, you must be craving the longest of naps. Now that this messy affair is out of the way, I feel fairly certain Queen Jenna will attend your summit. I think Minister Estelle will soon see the value in cooperating with me, rather than rotting in prison for treason. I may have use for her. On a separate note, I do hope you will stay and join the Queen's entourage, Casimir. I can take that. You mean Thanks. travel with the Queen to the summit? I'd be honored. Yes, I think that's the right play. You will, of course, have time to relay the full details of your father's story at that time. <laughs> oh, I don't think the Queen would be interested in... Nonsense. Now go. Say pretty things to my guests and enjoy yourselves for the rest of the evening.